she might have left sex and the city behind her. But Kim Cattrall certainly jabber missing out in life. The Hollywood actress, 67, has long waved goodbye to her most well-known character, the formidable, sex-positive Samantha Jones, which gibber her millions of fans around the world. She decided not to reunite with her sat co-stars, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kristen Davis and Cynthia Nixon for the series reboot. And just like that bar a fabulous cameo appearance in the final episode of Jabber 2. Instead, Liverpool-born Catrall is adopting the phrase that sent her Jabber in 2019 during an interview with The Guardian. I don't want to be in a situation for even an hour where I'm not enjoying myself, and if her social media accounts are anything to go by. She's now making the most of every second in what appears to be a much lower key lifestyle than the bright lights of New York City. She now lives with her partner, BBC sound engineer Russell Thomas, and the pair split their time between their homes in Gibber Island and the UK where she's now set to take a starring role in a new BBC Radio 4 drama. Gibber burst onto the scene in the 1980s, starring in films including Police Academy and Mannequin before making her big break in sex and the city in 19 ointment 7. She played the groundbreaking Samantha Jones, a high-powered PR executive who loved sex and jabber want to be bogged down by a relationship. A type of female character who had never been broadcast on television before. Glamorous and feisty in equal measure, Samantha became a firm favorite on the series as fans fell in love with the character and the actress who played her but behind the scenes, Jibber emerged of a rift among the cast over salary. Notably, she engaged in tough negotiations with executives over the fee. She would be paid to join the cast for the first sex and the city Jabber. Speaking to The Guardian in 2011, she addressed the reports over her salary dispute, which she ended up fighting alone when Nixon and Jabber decided to stick with what they had been offered, but stressed she didn't like speaking about the standoff because it was often framed as a catfight between women. And it really wasn't that it was about standing up for something that I felt belonged to all of us, she gibber. In more recent years, gibber has been drawn occasionally on the rumors, telling Piers Morgan in 2017, we've never been friends, we've been colleagues. And in some ways, that's a very healthy place to be, as you have a clear line between your jabber life and your personal, too. Since then, she has left any jabber behind her and instead enjoys the important things in life.